I'm doing well on yourself. I'm doing wonderfully well. Testing. Testing. Can you hear it? Testing. 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 Ready? Good morning, Mount Olive. Good morning to the Kurt. Good morning. Good morning to those who are in your cars, those who are inside. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Amen. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, knowing that he is God and he is God all by himself. He's in a class by himself. Amen. Amen. And so as I invite you Sunday after Sunday, week after week, to don't restrict yourself. Don't hold back. Let go and let God. Let him have his way. Let him do what he wants to do in your life. And have a blessed day. Amen. First, I want to take the opportunity to wish every mother here a happy Mother's Day. The mothers to be, wait your turn. <laughs> We thank God for all the mothers, not just here at Mount Olive, but all over the world. Uh, James Brown said it right. He said, the world would be nothing without a woman or a girl. Amen. Even the Lord Jesus came by way of the woman. Every mind clear and all hearts stayed on Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we come before thy presence this morning as humble as we know how. We first want to thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for watching over us last night as we slumbered and slept. Thank you for waking us up this morning and closing our right mind with a reasonable portion of health and strength. Thank you for giving us the mind to come out to the house of prayer. We thank you for forgiving us for our sins and shortcomings. Thank you for your grace, and we certainly thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your sustaining power. We thank you for all the provisions that you've made for us. We thank you most of all for your darling son, Jesus, who came down through 42 generations, hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross that wretches like us might have a right to the tree of life. We just want to thank you this morning for helping us to be here in this spot. We thank you, old master, for Pastor Jefferson. We ask that you would anoint him with the fresh anointing. Touch his heart and his mind, Lord, that he may preach an uncompromising gospel. Then, Lord, we ask that you would open our ears and our hearts and our minds that we may receive from your word, help take it out into a dying world. We thank you for those who are present and for those who are yet on their way. We ask, O Master, that you would bless the Thompson family this morning in their bereaved state. We ask that you would comfort them as only you can. We ask, O Master, that you would bless all the sick and afflicted among us. Keep us in your care. Help us to be wholly devoted to you this morning in this worship service. Help us to lift you up in praise. And we'll be ever mindful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory you will rightfully deserve. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray and ask it all. Amen and thank God. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. <laughs>
stand for the reading of God's word. And our scripture this morning comes from Psalm 33, starting at verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world rever him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord foils, foils the plan of the nation. He parts the purpose of the people. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purpose of this part to all generations. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers here, the doers of his holy word. I've read to you Psalms chapter 33, 8, 8 through 12. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers here, the doers of his holy word. You may be seated.
praise him. Praise the Lord. Stand up. Stand up on your feet and praise the Lord. Shake the The Lord is my life and my salvation. The Lord is my life and my salvation. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hmm. Whom shall I fear? As we celebrate moms this morning, and I look at our Sunday school lesson, in that relation with the Holy Spirit, it tells us that regardless of trials, fears that we may have, those unexpected things in life, 
in good times and bad times. We have that whole spirit that is different with us. And even in those times when words fail us, we have the Holy Spirit. So as you sing this song, many of you may know it. If the Spirit hits you, please just join in with us.
I'm sorry. I, I had heard this song since I was a child. And uh, I don't even know if I remember it well. But we'll let the Lord lead us. Amen. I was young, but I recall singing, singing songs was my mother's joy. Just a song to them, right? It, it, it was something 
that they live by knowing that each day that they had was only simply because of his grace that he shared upon us. And so I, 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 it, it, was, it, was on my song, it was on my heart. And I, it, and I don't know if that version just got me. I remember growing up, the pastor, when I was growing up, his daughter would sing that song. Uh, and every time she sung it, you know, I, the church would just go crazy. And I was like, I was like, I just, I remember that. And I, and I, and I, and it, and it just brought joy to my heart. And maybe I was just trying to take myself back to remember what once was. I'm not going to keep you long today. Let's pray. I thought that my God, Father, we come right now and thank you, oh God, because you are such a great God. You are worthy to be praised, Father. There is none like you in all the heavens and the earth. You are he and he alone. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Father, we, we ask, O oh God, that you fill this temple with, with, with all of you, O oh God. We want to have your Shekinah glory right now in this place, O oh God. We want you to, to, to fill us, O oh God, that we may be able to preach your uncompromising gospel that there is a word from the Lord, oh God, that, that we are that you allow the people to see less and less of me and more and more of you, oh God. We know that we can't preach unless you preach for us, oh God. So we ask that you dwell and die yourself within us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen, 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 amen. This is a good day. This is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Right, right, right. Mother's Day. And, 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 it's, and it's kind of funny. Like last week, I, I was, I happened to, 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 to be discussing some things with, with a couple of folk, and, and, uh, and we were talking about mothers, and we were talking about the reading. And, 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 and it just, it just got me to thinking, and I started thinking, I said, I'm going to preach about that next Sunday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about three. Uh, turn with me, if you will, to the uh, Genesis. Genesis, 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 Genesis. The twentieth chapter. I'm sorry. The Genesis, the second chapter, the twentieth twentieth verse. I'm sorry. I'm giving you the twentieth chapter. We were eighty on that. I'm like, no, no. Genesis two, beginning at the twentieth. Let's start at eighteen. Amen. Let's start at eighteen. Verse 18. Let's start at 18. Genesis 2, verse 18. Find some amen. You think you go standing? And it reads. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help me. A, a, a help me for him. And out of the ground. The Lord God formed every beast of, of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called them, every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowls of the air and to every beast of the fields. But for Adam there was none found as a helpmeet for him. And the Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead there, thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he woman and brought him her unto. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. 
Now they say he formed it in the garden. He, 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 he placed them in the garden. That was the place that he wanted him to be in. And, and here we go, where we go. And I find myself, when we, when we speak about the creation, want to talk about the real and his final masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is a masterpiece? A, what, what, what is a masterpiece? Like a masterpiece, a work done with extraordinary skill. Now you got to know. Now, now, now you got to know that the creation of man and woman and this whole universe and this whole being was a masterpiece at work. But it was not until he created woman that the masterpiece was complete. See, see, I, 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 I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. It was not until he created woman that the masterpiece was complete. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to take you somewhere. You, you're, like, you're like, what do you mean? What do you mean, Brother Pastor? Uh, he said, he said the, the man was created, and, 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 and he gave man authority, dominion over everything, and he did all of those things. Oh, that's true. But he gave woman the most complicated text. He said, man's missing something here. He said, man's missing something here, so I must make man a helpmate. What, 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 what is a help me? Help me. The word meet means to come into the presence of for the first time to introduce or to become acquainted with. That's the word meet. And the word help means to give assistance or to support, to survive with someone that is useful or necessary in achieving an end. Right? So here it is. He said, help someone that Adam needed to give him some assistance and support in achieving the goal that God had set before him and that need to introduce him to her. To become into the present, to become known, to come free. We find ourselves dealing with what was the purpose of the reading? I'm glad you asked what the purpose of the rib was. Point number one, the purpose of the rib was to assist Adam in everything that he needed. James Brown said it best. It's a man's world. But the world would be nothing without a woman or a girl. Amen. That was in the 60s. He said it. He said it. He said it. I didn't say it. He said it. And, and he must have been reading the gospel because he knew that if woman had not been created, the world would be no more. We can have all the men here all we want to. Amen. We can have all the men we want to. Just like animals. We, I mean, you can have all the men you want to with no female. Life ceases to exist. Amen. Yeah, right. Now, you can have a whole bunch of females and one male. And life will still go on. But we need woman to help keep life in existence. He said, 
He said, Adam named the cattle and the fowls of the air and every beast of the field. But Adam, for Adam, there was not found a healthy for him. Let the truth be told. Most men know it. We wouldn't admit it. Some of us. But your life is, does not begin to be complete until you have one. You get shortchanged. Rack, 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 rack. Woman was the, the, the added ingredient needed for man to complete his task. Now you watch, now, now, now it's, it's funny how man and woman are. Right? We, we, we are almost total opposites. Man's taught to be tough, hard, go out and work and, and make it happen and, and, and bring home all this and do all of that. Woman taught to nurture, to care for. Not saying that man is not capable of doing that, but that's not his natural habitat. We just don't operate in that space very well. So he said, woman was created to complement man. Yeah. And so when I started looking at that, I said, I said, why, why, why is it so hard today that we, we struggle in this area when we talk about man and woman? Well, part of it because we have forgotten what our purpose was. Yeah, 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 we forgot what our purpose was. He said, and the Lord calls, here it is, the first surgery to take place. And he took his rib, and the rib, and then he took the rib, and then he formed woman with the rib. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Man, 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 man. The minute we, we get to the place where we start to understand that woman was created to complete, not to compete. Did you see what I said? Woman was created to complete man, but not to compete. Oftentimes we get that mixed up. We talk that L so much. Oh, the only, thing, the only difference between the two is an L. Right? Right? We dropped that L because we stopped wanting to be the helpmate to help, to assist, to make you better. A good woman will always make a man better. Amen. A good man, a good woman will do it. I don't care what he is and what he looks like. He got a good woman all of a sudden. That man that you thought was this all of a sudden becomes something else. Because women can, because you're because it's in your design to complete man. I know some of y'all quiet. You're like, what you trying to say, pastor, that we all both to have us a man? I didn't say that. <laughs> I did not say that because some, some, some of y'all had some tore up ones. And I, and I, some of y'all had some pretty bad ones. So don't get quiet on me, everybody. Every, but the problem was is that that that, that man that was searching for his real, you didn't find. Amen. Or he didn't find you. Because you were already taken. Because you ain't asked the Lord. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I stepped up on some toes. Lord, right, 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 because, because every man is looking for his real. You heard what I said? That the truth be told, he's looking for his real because his real will complete him. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. His real is not trying to compete. He said, look, 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 look if, I, if I needed my real to be another man, I, I, I don't break out anymore. Did you already say that? Now don't get mad at me. Now I'm not looking for my real to be what I am. Your real is supposed to complement those things that you are not. Yeah. Right. I'm, 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 this must be some marital advice for some folks. I'm trying to, I don't know why the Lord gave me this. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why he gave me this, because this, this, this ain't going to make
make everybody happy. But I'm sorry. I just have to preach what he gave me when he, when he tells me what to preach. When it was important and significant that the Lord took something from Adam, it didn't necessarily have to be a real. It didn't have to be the real. It was just symbolic of him taking something from Adam, something that he could do without. He didn't take his heart because he needed his heart to keep going. He didn't take his lungs because he needed his lungs to breathe. He didn't take a finger or a toe or anything like that. He took something away from him that if he took it, he would not miss it. He said, here it is. Here it is, the real. Think about what the real is. It's a protector. It, 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 it wraps all around and it protects the lungs. See, when you talk about the real, what, what does the real do, right? This function of the real is to protect. It protects the lungs. It protects the lungs from getting punctured. And, 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 and it helps out. So when he says, I'm going to take a real and create a woman, why not take the real? Because the real is a, has a special place in the human anatomy. The, the real is special. It protects all kinds of stuff. Without the real, the lungs will be exposed, easily punctured, or hurt. But the rib is a protective cave around a lot of vital stuff. So the rib is necessary. He said, he says, so I'm going to take this rib and I'm going to form woman. And once I form woman, this help me, who I've got as a, as a computer, not a computer, yeah, what does it say right here? What is the definition of the word complete? Complete, having all necessary parts, elements, or steps. Everything, everything. Complete, but to complete, to strive <laughs> unconsciously for an objective sub such as a position, profit, or prize. Be in a state of arrival. I did not create a man, man, woman to be man's rival. And don't get me wrong, not because I'm all for women's live and I'm all for a woman getting everything she can. And she's, I, I want you to get all the pay that you're supposed to. I didn't tell you that. I'm not trying to say I'm trying to take you back and make you not be educated. I'm not telling you that either. I want you to get all your education. I want you to get all that you can be. I want you to be the best you can in life. But I'm just being straight up with you. If you are to commingle with man, your responsibility with male and female is to be, we're talking about relationship. I ain't talking about your, the man you could be for at that job, but I'm talking about that relationship is to be a help. Right. So when we get that right, we're going to find somebody. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That was for free, so y'all don't much get this with that one. I'm for free. <laughs> Amen. Now here's now here is the most important part. God created woman as the reproducer. The reproducer. I was reading. I was looking at something on TV the other night, and uh, and uh, and this woman said. Had some joke on there, and it was about gay people. And don't get me wrong, I ain't got that. I'm just telling you, right? So there was two men, and then there were two women, right? And and and, and the mama looked. She said, she said she was mad at her at her son because she said, "What about my grandchildren? I wanted some grandchildren." And they were going on and on and on talking about the fact that she wanted grandchildren. And he said, "Well, mom, we can adopt." She said, she said, she said, she said, and there are a whole bunch of them. She said, she said, well, you remember these, you know, these other two doctors? She said, these two women. She said, well, they got your beat. She said, but they got something that you don't have. They have a beat. Uh -oh. So they can still produce. They don't really need a whole lot of help from us. Woman is the source and the continuation of life. 
It is so much so, the importance of woman for the human race, so much so that God decided to send our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to a woman. Yeah. He could have done it any way if, 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 if coming through woman was not important. He could have just poofed the magic dragon and all of a sudden Jesus was there. Why did he do it like that? Because he knew what his order was and how he intended for man and woman to operate. What is the purpose of the real? The real has something that man does not have. The real is unlike any other. And just in case you hadn't got the hint yet, the real is woman. Women. God's greatest creation. Yeah. Now, 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 see when I said that? That tells me y'all weren't listening. All these women in the church, I, I said, women. Y'all are not numbers, but God knows how many numbers. And I said, women, God's greatest creation. Y'all should have been like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? Amen. I, I, you know what? I, I, I ain't trying to knock men. I love, we are great. But, but, we are. We great. Yeah, see, 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 we are, we are great, we are great, see, see, I had somebody to agree with me, she's trying to be funny, I'm trying to be funny, <laughs> hey, amen, she's trying to be funny, but, 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 but women, if it had not been for women, amen. I go back and I think, I think about my mom as a single mom, and I think about how sacrificial she was, women are some of the most sacrificial creatures that walk the face of this earth. Amen. If you want, if, 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 if you want to see a glimpse of how you should behave, an example of Jesus Christ living, look at a woman. Amen. A good woman. Look at her. Look at her. She will give her last. Amen. She'll go and not eat, and you will. Amen. That's what mamas do. Mamas, dad's still trying to eat. Daddy will tell you in a minute, I got a job and I got to work because I need my strength. <laughs> but mama, but mama was like, I will sacrifice mine for you. Mom, 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 mom said, you know, moms have always been the orchestrators of the family home, right? Dad would go home go and make the bacon, but he'd bring the bacon home and, and mama would decide and find out how she could make the bacon stretch as far as it could. Amen. You know, you know I, I don't know about you, but that's the way it was in our house. My mom, my mom could make some stuff stretch like nobody's business. My mom could do chicken. And we could have chicken every day and you would think it was a different delicacy meal every night of the week because she was picking up. It was that same chicken. It was that same chicken. I ain't talking about a new piece of chicken. I'm talking about that same chicken. She docked it up and worked on it. We had fried chicken one night. She take that same fried chicken, take the grease from it, and put a little water and onions in it, and all of a sudden it became smothered chicken, right? And we thought we had something all different. All right. Amen. The mama can work it out. Can work it out. Thanksgiving turkey. You had turkey pie pie, you had turkey salad, you had, you, I mean everything with that turkey. Because we had it all week. Man, can't do that. We're not that invented, we're not that creative. No, 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 we're structured. You give us something and give us something that needs precision, that's us. You give us something that 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 that, 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 that needs a little strength. That's us. 
But if it's something that ain't that ain't by the book and by the letter that you got to use some creative color engineering with, that ain't us. That that that, that ain't us. That, that, that ain't us. That ain't us. Because I told you, because God knew that we needed woman to complete us. Amen. And when he, once, once he did that, he said, I'm going to make you woman and I'm going to give you something that's going to help you along the way. Something that's, 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 that's not going to make it so hard for you. You know, if it wasn't for man, if it wasn't for woman, man would come home stressed out. He's like, I just can't take this job no more. It's done. I'm not going to do this. I'm sick of it. I'm going to kill them folks. And my job, my wife said, come here, baby. Come here, baby. I know they're getting on your nerves. But good sense, man, you know you can't quit your job. Because you know we need income. So, so we're going to find a way. We're going to get on our knees and we're going to pray and we're going we to ask the Lord for provision. And the Lord's going to work it out. Hold out. Hold out. Because, because, because I, I, I don't know. And I know, you know, I mean, we think as we preach as we pray. And I've heard men pray. But there is nothing like the prayer of a mother. I've heard, I've heard men pray. Because, because something about the woman's cry, something about the woman's vulnerability, something inside of her, her vulnerability that she allows God to come in, to show up and show out. See, 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 he said, I need woman so she can see, so she can show man that it's okay. To not always be tough. Amen. I need woman to show man that it's okay to cross sometimes. Amen. He said, I need woman to be that other half to make sure that, 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 that she knew that he knew that it was all right, that God will provide, that it was okay to ask God for help. It was better than asking for directions because you know it's us, we don't want to ask for nothing. Amen. It's a wonder there are any men in church at all. Because church is about surrendering. Surrendering to someone greater than you. Amen. And that's not in man's DNA, but that's in woman's. To surrender her will for the will of God. heard me. God heard me. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the purpose for the real was to complete us, to make us better, to, to do all of those things. The purpose of the real was to, 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 to keep life in existence. The purpose of the real was to make man better. Yeah. The purpose of the real to help him come into his own. Hmm. The purpose of the real was to keep man on this task. The purpose of the real was to add a little tenderness into his heart. The purpose of the real was to make man and to show man how to truly love. The purpose of the real was for, 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 for man to see that it was okay to cry. The purpose of the real was, was, was to show man that it was okay to be vulnerable. The purpose of the real was that it was okay for man to call on the name of the Lord. It was okay for man to understand that he did not have to do it all by himself. The purpose of the real for us to come to understand this unconditional love firsthand. We read about it and we know that he did it because he sent his only begotten son. We understand that and we hear stories about it but when you look at a woman you see it in action. You see her sacrificing. You see her love. You see her, 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 her putting away her will for his will. He said, ah, you know how Jesus Christ said, not my will, but thy will. Ah, you, 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 you don't find very many men saying, I'm going to do your will, not my will. Most times it's a woman saying, not my will, but your will. But the, because they understood their purpose 
when it came to association with man. He put man in charge. He said, man, you are the leader. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm getting ready to close because I find it, I find it, I find it strange that most times man ain't want to give woman no credit. But he wanted to give her all the blame. He'll go back and say, why would you get kicked out of God? That woman made me eat that. But you said you were in charge. If you were in charge, why do you want to blame her now? God's good. Amen. There is a song. It was from the, in 1979. With You I'm Born Again by Billy Preston and Sarita Wright. And the song says, Come bring me your socks. Comfort me through all this madness. He says, Woman, don't you know that you with you, I'm born again. This is what I like. He says, come, give me your sweetness. He says, now there is you, there is no weakness. He says, woman, don't you know with you I'm born again. He says, this is what I like. He says, I was dead, not whole. Meaning that I wasn't complete until you came into my life. He says, reaching through this world in need of what? One, to complete me. He says, come show me your kindness. I told you women got a kindness unlike no other. He says, uh, 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 in your arms I know I'll find it. Because women are nurturing. They are, they are those kind of people. He says, woman, don't you know I, with you I'm born again. Christ knew Jesus knew. Sometimes folk get when I say, when I say Jesus knew in the beginning, they're like, well, you got that mixed up. Oh, no, no, he was that. Because the Bible said that let us make man. Let us create the earth. So Jesus was present. So he knew in advance that man was going to always need woman to complete it. He knew that that there was no love that could rival his love other than a woman's love. Women are forgiving. Trust me. You wrong a man, he done with you. You wrong, you wrong a woman, she'll get your shot again. Most women, if they love you, you should be wrong a man at one time, you done. He's not giving you no more shots. Depending on what it is, he's not giving you no more shots. He's like, we done. I'm moving on. Women are forgiving, they're loving, they're caring, they're always sacrificial. The real, the best thing yet, God's masterpiece. The secret peace. It wasn't until woman that was that was made that God decided he could rest. And the reason that he knew he could rest, because that peace that he made woman with, it was uniquely made. I don't know what was in that rib. I don't know what was in that special rib, but there was something that he made when he made woman that made woman different than man that made woman uh, have some attributes that just not did not come naturally to man. Maybe it was because that real that he took from 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 Adam was that compassionate real. Maybe 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 it was that real that showed love. As I come to a close today, love is why the real was made. Because love 
is all that we need. Love is what makes us strive to be better. Love is what makes us turn the other cheek. Love is what makes us want to do better. Love is what says to us that I can forgive you. Love is what says to us that I'm willing to sacrifice. Love is what says to us that, that for Christ I live and for Christ I die. Love is what lifts us. Love is what makes that real. The greatest portion of the masterpiece. And on this Mother's Day, I commend you mothers for all that you've done, all that you continue to do, in spite of the difficult situations, in spite of the shortcomings, I commend you mothers, grandmothers, to some mothers, some grandmothers were, were mothers twice over. Amen? Some mothers were, were grandmothers, you know, twice over because your child had it in and you had to be the mother. So I commend you for all the sacrifices that you continue to do. I continue to bless you and thank you for recognizing your purpose and your in life. Can you have other things? Yes, but I'm talking about the true purpose, what God intended for it to be. Right? The reason that the world is so messed up because we've got all things unbalanced and not like it should be. Because man not where he's supposed to be and woman not where she's supposed to be. So it's all out of whack. And he's been trying to align it back and get it back to where it should be for a long time. And we go kicking and screaming. Because somebody say, you're trying to take me back to the Stone Age. I keep trying to tell you. I ain't trying to tell you you got to do for that on job. I'm not trying to tell you that you, ain't, that you can't work. I'm not trying to tell you that you can't be the most educated woman that exists. I'm not trying to tell you that. I'm not trying to tell you that you can't lead where you're supposed to be at your job. I'm not telling you that. But I'm telling you this. And I know it to be fact. And you can take it to the bank that God's intention with you and your mate is that you and he, he put man over not to subject you, not to tell you what to do, not to, it says, because the Bible says, men ought to love their wives as Christ loved the church, and women, you ought to be submissive unto your husbands. Don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to take you back to slave time. I'm sorry. Amen. Amen. I just wasn't no shouting sermon. But I commend you today on this on this Mother's Day. And I trust and believe that woman was man's greatest creation. What was the purpose of the rib? The purpose of the rib was to help, support, complete, and to reproduce. You don't take anything else from that. You are not a computer. You are completely Amen. The doors of the church are. This is a time in our program, our service that we invite you to become a part of this Lord by their believers. We trust and, and know that there's no God like our God. We trust and know that our God never makes mistakes and God works it out like he's supposed to. So I invite you today if you don't know God as your personal Savior, if you don't know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, I invite you today to Come at any side, any deacon outside, to become a part of this glorified by the believers. I invite you today that if you already know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, 
but I'm looking, I should even say this, I'm looking, I'm speaking to people over the airways, I guess, because everybody else looks like a pimp. Amen. You can call me in, you can send it over, over Facebook. We are here. And someone will get in touch with you. Because you're not alone. One of our members that just left, Sister Brown Brown, you. she had to leave. Church, I'm, I was actually scared to preach it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, 
Oh, want to throw stuff at me? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> like, I don't know what you can talk about that in the hill. You talk about what the true purpose of the real did. Folks get like, ah, what you saying? Something wrong with me? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, amen, amen, amen. Now I'm just joking. I am. Uh, I, I, I love my nana. If I didn't think I could, I could joke like that with him, I, I wouldn't. Amen. Especially people. Amen. Here on our prayer list, we go down this list. I'm reading Sister Carla Storm, Linda Weatherhead, Vivian Smith, Patricia Martin, Sister Tom Clayton, who's out in the car. Amen. Brother Corbin, the brothers. God's of Lamb, Sister Charlotte Bell, and I feel that's what we do. Pray for her, Sister Diane Hughes, and daughter, Deacon Beecham, Brother Taylor, Brother Beecham, Joshua, Josiah, and Joseph Taylor, Sister Sharon Rose, Deanna Mab, Jessica Demeron, Sister Susanna Proctor, who's here. We're going to continue to pray for her, Stephanie Taylor, Denise Boyer, and Sally Boyer, Deacon Kendall Bell, who's back. Doing his work, to prayers work, to Walter Kim, William Jurgensen, and Raven family, the Alexander A. Purvis family, and Ruthie Young, Zelma Rowe, Jacqueline Walker, Amy Jackson, Ben Moore, Diane Franklin, and Jody Gustafson, um, Sister Kim W., Sister Bernard Brown, who was just here, who just left, and we thank God. It was our first time. Um, being able to come to our service, to the nursing home, but she made it today, and we thank God. Don't God, ain't God work it out? Amen. Sister Amen. Kaisha Newsom, Brother Ted Pearson, Brother Bill at Bethlehem, the Aiken, Glass, Brown, Gilliman, Jefferson, Duckworth, Laughlin, McCoy, James, Paz, Reverend Gibson, Reverend Cook, Ida, and Alex Clark and family, from Keith Roberson at Southern Baptist Church, Amarest and Eden, uh, Brother Benson, William in Round Rock, Texas. We have specifically for Sister Jody, we are praying for uh, that her week goes better. She had an emotional week. We know that God is, is the answer. He will work it out. Let's pray for Don Brady. Don Brady for continued overall good health. Let's pray for let's pray for the Thompson family. Amen. I saw him on here. Did not hear and did not know that Don Thompson passed um, Friday, Friday morning. So let's continue to keep. Thompson family in prayer. Um, I called Sister Journey myself and and I and I was calling to console her and she gave me a word. Mm -hmm. Amen. She gave me a word. You hear me? I and telling me consoling her. She up there for me. So I'm telling you, God works it out. I mean, I was under the weather this week and uh, and I was talking to her and she was she was she was she was preaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. I should have had her preach today, amen. But she was giving me a word, and so, so, but those who can, and you know her, let's keep them in prayer, give her a call, I'm sure she appreciate it, and let them know that a uh, church family is thinking about her, one thing she told me, she didn't know what she would do without her church family, amen, and she thinks and she loves her church family, because it's such a great group, amen, so let's continue to keep them in prayer, Amen. And let's do what we can. And I don't have to tell you what to do. Because I know Ma and I would know what to do. Amen. 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 Congratulations to Jeremiah Gibson and Jasmine Billingsley on their educational accomplishments. And let's continue to pray for the healing of tonight. Amen. 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 Any other people that I left off? Sandy Grant. For Sandy, healing. Sandy Grant. Sandy Grant for healing. Anybody else that I left off? Walter King. Walter King. Walter King. 
King. Oh, Walter King. Walter. Oh, put that down. Walter King. Anybody else?
the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. May the church say, Lord. Amen. Consider yourself dismissed. Go out and have a blessed day again. Happy Mother's Day to all your mothers. Amen. Remember to honor your mother.